Hey guys, uh, I hope you are doing well. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today on this particular chat. Um, I just, you know, if you are on the uh, chat, just do me a favor. Just if you can just um, drop me a message and say that you can hear me. Uh, you can. Okay, so just if you send me a text. Um, uh, are you able to hear me? So, all right. So um, today, uh, you know, in a couple of minutes, uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, have my friend Tony here with me. So Tony is uh, um, better known formerly as Anirudh Rai Choudhury. He is uh, one of the uh, most uh, fabulous uh, film directors. I actually got to see his uh, first film, um, Onur Onur. And today I, I'm, I'm going to sort of share a little secret with you that when that um, uh, first film came out, then, you know, what really happened was I um, kind of, I didn't know what's the meaning of this word Onur Onur. Um, so I asked some of my friends, uh, who, you know, because I've grown up outside of Calcutta. And uh, uh, so sometimes, you know, there are words in Bengali, which um, I'm not so sure of. So I wanted to ask about that. And um, so a friend of mine who's a musician said that, you know, when you take a sitar and, you know, you play a particular rag. So what actually happens is that as you play one particular string, even the string which is not being plucked, you know, that resonates. Uh, so in some sense, uh, I just thought it was a beautiful word. Of course, when I saw the film, I fell in love with the story and you understand why it is called Onur Onun. And uh, that's really uh, what uh, struck me as a fantastic uh, kind of a format of storytelling. So um, I'm actually going to be talking to uh, Tony about um, different aspects of storytelling, you know, how do you find a story? Because uh, all of us like to tell stories. It's a very powerful skill. And uh, there are people who, uh, you know, tell the story, uh, you know, through the visual form. Sometimes, uh, you know, I've written fiction. So that's one form of storytelling, even nonfiction. Uh, it is another form of storytelling. And today, one of the hottest skills that you can uh, look at in the marketplace is, um, how do you tell a story which is, uh, um, you know, uh, how do you tell a story which inspires people? Uh, so thank you very much, all of uh, you who are there. I can see Rajat, Deshopriyo, Kavita, uh, Shubrajit. Um, uh, thank you very much for the comment. Indranil, good to see you here. Um, and, uh, you know, it's lovely to be surrounded by friends. And I'm going to introduce you to another very dear friend of mine. So if you guys are ready, I'm going to attempt to do something else as well, which is that, um, uh, but, but, but just before we sort of get into the session, um, I'm going to switch between a few phrases of uh, Bengali and Hindi. So you're going to sort of indulge me on that because there are some words which are hard to translate. And I have always spoken to Tony in Bengali. I've never spoken to him. <laughs> Today, I think it's going to be the first time I'm speaking to him in, um, uh, in, in Bengali. So. Uh, I'm likely to lapse back, uh, so you will please indulge me on that. Um, having said that, what we are going to do is if you have any questions, uh, you know, I can uh, look at the thing, but I'm going to also try and do a little bit of a doodle here and see if I can summarize some of those things, um, you know, for you. So, um, all right, let me just see if I can get uh, the man, the man, where is the man? Tony. Hi. Hey, Tony. Hello. You're live. Hey, Gosh. hey, how are you? Let's, <laughs> let's tee off. Tee off. Oh, OK. Tee off. I'm actually having coffee. Uh, in Calcutta, of course, it's a sin to have coffee while having adda, because you can only have tea. Um, even though uh, you know, one of the best places for adda is uh, the coffee house. So then why, why are people so averse to having coffee? That also the happens. Coffee, the coffee house is there. The my my club is there. Most of my most of the evenings during my college days, 
uh, yeah. up and there. And I used to study in a college which we used to have evening sessions. So I was luckily discollegiated, you know, because I, was, I used to have my adda in that my club. Oh, okay. okay. Chai, ka, chai, chai ka dukan, all my friends. And we have got a group in Facebook also. It's called the My Club Group. It's a school ah, friend okay. who grew up together for the last 30, 30 40 years, you know. Uh, all right. So I always thought you were 15. So, yeah. Um, one five. No, no, 15. I am 15 with a little bit of, with 35 years of experience, you know. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Uh, uh, Tony, right. I yeah. wanted to uh, know. Uh, we, uh, you know, you have your friend Ornali who's joined us from Washington, D.C., um, Krishna who's joined us from uh, Hyderabad. And he says, Ada Bhai and Arvin, uh, great, uh, you know, to have hi, all hi. of you. Thank you very much, Paritosh. Thanks. Hi, hi. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to get distracted. Uh, Tony, first thing, I wanted to understand that, uh, uh, you know, when, uh, when you were growing up, people normally have very uh, conventional, uh, you know, uh, choices for uh, careers. Uh, so did you want to be a... Director, you wanted to be, you know, something else. What, what was it like for you? What was your childhood like? Where did you grow up? See, I, I grew up in Calcutta. I grew up in Calcutta and Asansol, and I was in between Boranagar, a place in North Calcutta, and Poschimputiri, which is extreme south. You know. And at okay. that point of time, those were the notorious places, you know, during the Naxal movements and uh, oh, okay. see, I was this is very stupid I, 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 I might sound sound very stupid you know I was absolutely you know mesmerized by the performing uh, artists and arts you know uh, mm -hmm. I used to hear this Bhivindu Bharati mm. uh, radio play so I used okay. to think that something is happening inside the radio when I was very young ah. maybe in class one or so and okay. uh, how can I get into the radio and meet them or whenever I used to go to a theater, to a cinema hall, and I used to watch a film, as if something right. is happening inside, uh, mm. behind the skin, uh, behind the screen. And how can I go there? So I always want, I was very clear since childhood, I want to become an actor or somebody who is associated with films. So so what about that was so fascinating? I mean, um, you know, of course, was it the medium? Was it the story? Was it the... Uh, popularity was it the ability to reach people there were, can be multiple motivations what was it for you I, I think i think i think it's story it's emotion and it's the vastness of nature and the uh, i mean the way people used to capture in cinema the uh, you know uh, nature uh, nature and the countries and the jungles and the seas because that point of time only those things used to attract me and of course the emotional part of acting and storytelling you know so you know, I, I watched a film called Hathi Mera Sati when I was very young with my Pisha Moshai, you know, who was a jailer. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Pupa. there was huh. a song. <laughs> uh, there, there was a song called, there, there was a choice between two films. One was Joy Bangla, which, which was a film on uh, Mukti Juddho of, between uh, Bangladesh and Hathi Mera Sati. Of course, I said, I want to watch Hathi Mera Sati. And, and there was a song called Aha Sunja Ye Thandi Hawa. Uh -huh. and for the first time, I discovered love. You know, okay. For the first time, I discovered love after watching that scene. So I don't know. I, I used to like this thing so much. And I decided, I told my parents that I will be in films. I want to join someday a theater company or a film company. But it didn't happen. If you come from a middle class family, it's very difficult to pursue your dreams, you know, and uh, get your qualification. That point okay. of time, during our our time, you know, there was no money in uh, filmmaking or theater. Though now, I mean, sky's the limit. So, so you know, um, let me just sort of understand. Your childhood was a lot about the, uh, you know, you were fascinated by the media. So, radio, you mentioned, you <laughs> talked about films, um, and the reason why it's important is because somewhere, you know, uh, I believe that everything about a story eventually. Um, takes time to get nurtured, you know. So the mind of a storyteller Formulate, is nurtured. Yeah. Is that uh, something that you've experienced? I mean, so what were some of the early stories uh, that fascinated you? Uh, you know, so w what were some of those vivid memories that stayed with you? Uh, tell us about that. 
See, our story formulates due to a lot of reasons. You know, I used to meet a lot of people. I was friendly to a lot of my dad's friends. You know, uh, mm-hmm. there was somebody called Ajad Da. There was hmm. somebody called Ajad Da, and hmm. we used to call him Badol Da in whenever he used to come to Calcutta. And he mm-hmm. was like Jesus Christ superstar to me. You know, short, cat's eyes, beautiful hair, had a brilliant voice. He used to uh, read poetry to me. He used to tell stories. and he was so vibrant and uh, he was part one of the mukti yodhas you know he went back to uh, bangladesh he came back after few months and i found him a transformation from a vibrant human being to a vegetable and eventually he died after two years he didn't eat he didn't sleep and this is the story i want to i want to tell sometime and you know this human being had created such impact to me then i used to uh, look after my father's business and i used to travel a lot to assam and bihar where where in I bihar a very interesting story mm-hmm. uh, bihar i used to go to places like barauni but like mokama uh, wow. patna you know deoghar uh, then uh, there was a place in between bhagalpur and deoghar there was a uh, highway so mm-hmm. uh, he used to make this petrol pumps you know he used to construct and fabricate those tankers so i used to live with my uh, with my dad's labors in those tank tents okay it okay. that point of time i was very un- unhappy you know why i am staying like this on hmm. road in a tent with this kind of people but that is learning uh, i find that this is institution you know i still remember one day i'll tell you something and i was with my uh, with one supervisor called shubhash augustine and Sitaram da, I still, I sub, suddenly am remembering their faces, you know. So we had a wild evening, a lot hmm. of local intoxicating liquors, you know. And I was in class eleven or so. So okay, I feel was I was a, I was floating part. somewhere. <laughs> I, okay, I was floating somewhere. Then I don't okay. remember anything. I'll tell mm-hmm. you there is a reason for this story, you know. The next day, the the pump belonged to Thakur Binai Singh. He came, and I mm-hmm. saw a lot of people around me. and i am lying on the other side of mm-hmm. the highway mm-hmm. so binay singh uh, told me anjani he used to call me anjani asam and i was no i mean nowhere near engineering or anything he told me uh, anjani asam aap uh, kya kiya tha kal kaha gaya tha so i told him yeah i went to a place i think i walked a mile or more than that and i saw a beautiful jungle and i saw a nice river a beautiful stream flowing and i saw the entire moon just falling on that stream and i saw the ripple of uh, moonlight on the water and he told me that what have you done anirudh sir what have you done that's the place that's the jungle what if the animals come there and they have their they drink their uh, uh, drink water you would have killed you could have killed abhi chalo mera ghar so that day and that that image of moon and uh, and mm-hmm. the stream and the jungle it's like a spielberg movie you know i'll never forget that and these are the so, see, a, 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 a story for a, a, sorry no did the image show up in any film of yours um, you know you obviously uh, i can uh, moon and moon, moon moon has come moon has come in onuranun like punima ka chaad you know in onuranun uh, is punima uh, moonlight uh, you remember that Uh, in yeah. that short yeah, you I'll, have I'll, I'll, correct i'll 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 tell you so i'll 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 come back to this story what happened after this i went for my friend's honeymoon and mm-hmm. uh, i went to kosani we were in kosani rani ke talmora in kosani you joined a friend of yours i presume who went on his yeah. or her honeymoon you joined the couple right i joined well, i joined yeah. the couple Uh, I, yes. I I didn't join the couple. The couple took me. So we three of us we are together, and okay. obviously Or, they were they were in a room, and I was outside. I was outside on the balcony, and I was watching the ranges. And then that hmm. day I found the beautiful moonlight, and that was uh, Lokhi Purnima, you know, Lakshmi Purnima. That was a full oh. moon night, and I saw the light of the moon shimmering on the snowy peaks. And I used the same thing in Kanchenjunga in uh, Onuranun. I, oh, oh, and that's so. That's the uh, um, story of the moon, which that, came that, right. That's back. 
that, that's, a, that's, that's the trigger, you know, that's the trigger. So that was a very visual trigger. Again, I'll come back to the Devgar story. I went back to Devgar with, to stay with uh, Binay Singh. So one night, a lot of people tell me, are you a feminist? You are making films. I mean, most of your films, women are very important characters. You know, so I we used to stay together in the same house. One day, one night, and I, they used to feed me very well, you know. Uh, andakari and that roti with a lot of butter and uh, other things and, and a beautiful glass yeah. of milk with, with totally layers it. of <laughs> with layers of <laughs> you know malai. So I, I was very yeah. happy and I was happily I was I dozed off. So around two o'clock in the night I heard a lot of hallagulla, a lot of noise and stuff. So this guy, Vinay Kumar Singh, mm -hmm. he called me. Again, the same mm -hmm. thing is happening. Come out. So I went mm -hmm. out, I went to a house, which is just two minutes away from this particular building. And there was yeah. a beautiful, you know, courtyard. And I, I discovered a very young girl mm -hmm. who was just playing, holding the, you know, it was it, 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 one of the pillars. And he was just taking a circle. He, she doesn't know mm -hmm. what is happening outside. And I discovered there are two trucks. One truck is full of that old bandooks, you know, old guns, double barrel, uh, double barrel guns. And one truck is full of spears and uh, so many uh, swords and stuff. So I asked, those, so like, I, what has happened? Was there some kind of a fight which was... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, I discovered what, that, that there was a saga between this girl and a boy. And this girl was oh. seven to eight year old. I'll never forget this event. There was a sagai, and the guy died. Now the in-laws have come to take her, and so I, this I, girl, I will act it out. What happened? Uh, the so girl's fiance this, died. This girl got, ah, fiance okay, died, wow. and she was seven or eight year old, not more than that, and she is absolutely unaware what is happening outside around her. So I asked, "Kya hoga?" So I said, "Take her, take her, cut her, fake her, and cut her, fake her is like something like, "Obhi, come home, let's have a cup of tea." It was so casual. And I started screaming, oh, how can you do this? You know? No, why would they kill her? Because of what? I, uh, Sorry. Uh, so the girl... because, 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 she, because she inherited so much of land and property. After her husband passed you away know, or fiance passed away? Uh, after uh, after her fiance, after her, I mean, how, how can somebody be a fiance at the age of seven? Because she doesn't understand the meaning of marriage. Yeah. I mean. What used yeah. to happen in India at that point of time. So the problem is from that point of time, something triggered, you know, something happened. Let me tell stories about women, about girls, you know. So you asked me, you know, how stories, how to build a story, a story. So there are so many events happening around you. Hmm. There are so many events, there are so many incidents, there are so many music, right. there are so many human beings, there are so many emotions. Hmm. So you have to capture something, you have to grab something, and that automatically that takes a shape and something formulates, you know. So, so um, see, but clearly this, um, you know, this cocktail of uh, music, um, you, which obviously, you know, comes through in the beautiful music you used in your films, uh, the visual, you know, the stunning visuals that have obviously impacted you a lot. Um, so, so that sort of, uh, you know, comes together. Uh, the incident of this uh, seven or eight year old, you know, girl who uh, is engaged to somebody who dies, you know, her fiance or whoever, this guy dies. And as a result, she inherits the money, but is therefore that's a threat to her life and all of that. Um, so that's that's the picture. Now, I, I want that, to ask you that 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 created that created an impact. You know, and I I think unknowingly I became responsible for them, for women, you know. And I decided I want to tell stories about uh, uh, yeah. women always in my films. And in most of my films, suppose hmm. in Bunohash, Omol hmm. is the pivotal character, Omol is the main character. But even hmm. then, they're the mother and the girlfriend and the hmm. puppy, they are very important characters, you know. Hmm. You get my point. So how our story, yeah. see, it's all about your childhood. It's all about your friendship with people. It's all about your emotions. It's all about your informations. You're all about your understanding of life. And yep. 
this helped to create a baby, which is your film. And so, uh, you know, like you mentioned that it seems, it seems <laughs> that uh, the process of creating a story is really very, very, um, it's not a straight line uh, because, you know, you have an image of no. something, you know, the, uh, the moonlit night which you've seen at some point of time. You've seen another instance of the moon and that, you know, shimmering on that lake, the moonlit night. Mm. You have this very powerful incident of this girl going to get killed because of this, the impact of music drama, all of this, this cocktail is what Correct. eventually then you kind of trim some portions of it and build a story. Is that, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, now what happens when I make a story, either hmm. I grab it from the atmosphere, hmm. like pink. It was it yeah. was there around and we grabbed it, but okay. Bunohash or Duinari Hati uh, Duinari Hati Tarowari of Shunil Wangobadhyay. Hmm. There was a book and I identified certain characters, certain incidents, certain elements, you know, hmm. of the book. Hmm. And I wanted to I I I I, I there, there was an urge. I have to uh, tell this story. Like I'll tell hmm. you something about Bunohash. Bunohash is about a character who comes hmm. from a very lower middle class family. And hmm. uh, this family has come from Bangladesh after the partition. Okay. The same thing has happened to my parents. They came from Bangladesh. I, I, I always I see the nostalgia. Uh, 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 Obhijit, can I see you? It, it will be easier for me to talk to you. If I yes, of you. course. I feel very of comfortable. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Omul's um, character is something like me. You know, the family has come from Bangladesh and... Uh, uh, there is no money. There's a struggle. There are responsibilities, and there is no hope. I don't know. I that point of time, I didn't know how to pay my bills, how to make my money. You know, so it was very difficult. You know, and it was very suffocating. So Amul got a chance to become a career and started making good money. The same thing happened to me. If I tell you today, you know, I used to love watching films, so I wanted to buy a this year. I managed to earn 10,000 bucks through okay, some advertising so, work. This, this year, which year is this? This is uh, 83, precisely okay. 80, 83, 84. Okay. You know, and the VCR is still there in my office in Calcutta. You know, it's a national J1 VCR. And that the cost of the VCR was 13,000 bucks. And I had 10,000. So a friend of mine's uh, uncle gave me 3,000 bucks and told me, I'll get you this VCR. Because he used to like me a lot. And I, that, from that point of time, I wanted to make Uno Ronan. Uh, I, was, I used to dwell with that story. You know, I was with that story wow. of Uno Ronan. So he told me, OK, I can organize some money for you. And if you need some money right now, can you do a job? I have a briefcase. You have to send this particular thing to somebody in Calcutta. OK. If you can deliver it properly, you will get one lakh rupee. In 83, 84, one lakh for a kid like me was huge. I didn't know how many, uh, you know, uh, zeros one lakh had at that point of time. So why, what was special about the briefcase? I mean, it was something illegal, yeah. contraband. I don't, I, I don't know. I, oh. I, that, that's the interesting thing. I didn't know. He didn't tell me. And he told me, you can't open the uh, briefcase. And okay. if you get caught, you'll, you'll, you have to go to jail for three years. OK. And I didn't have the guts, guts to, for one lakh rupee. I didn't have that courage or guts to do that. But Amul had. So I connected my story with Amul's story. And I grabbed this story. I told Shamur Isla that, uh, uh, I'm dying to make this film. The same thing happened in, 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 in Duinari Hathi you know. Uh, I used to go to um, uh, US uh, a lot because for Bongo Shan Minal to meet my friends, there are my cousins also. So I used to see a void, successful people, people have money, people have kids, pretty wives, but there is always a shunnota. What is this? Why? You are getting, so you are achieving everything, but you are achieving nothing. You know? Mm. So from there, I identified Duinari Hati Tarwari and the rivalry between two women and where it can go. And a person, how a person decays slowly, you know? So. Withers away, yeah. Either 
ha uh, so your question was how you get a story either a story is there you identify yourself with that story or there are so many incidents i'll tell you one thing i i'll try i can't share it now i saw a video clipping before pink it was somewhere in uh, haryana two guys they were trying to pull the pallu of a girl and i saw her eyes she was suffering so much she was she was humiliated they were not doing anything just pulling the pallu and Easy. i have seen that that, that the emotion in that uh, uh, it destroyed me abhijit if i had a gun i would have killed him i swear i would have i i i got so agitated i couldn't take this the same thing happened where i used to live in kolkata in leg gardens you know uh, jeu jeu jadavpur university is very close to leg gardens so a lot mm-hmm. of northeastern guys bachara ishe khane thake so all these boys and girls they used to come to a chai ka dukan in the morning they they they, they used to have a tea the only okay. thing they used to do they used to wear short dresses and they used to have uh, c- cigarettes but beautiful profound little kids and i have seen educated people like us how they used to shame them i have seen a young manager how people in a society how people you know uh, give a weird name to her because she used to party with boys and girls and hmm. listen to music and she used to love hmm. whiskey hence she was named as a rotten woman in a society so what can i do i had to make a film <laughs> that was a propaganda <laughs> film and, and 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 both shuji to roni everybody believed in that and we think happened so this is how a story happens and you gather it from around you gather you, you have basically obviously you have to keep your i try to keep all my doors and windows open and let the sunlight let the air come in and let's see sometimes stories come to you sometimes you go to the stories mm so you know on a frivolous note we had a uh, uh, the saying by one of our teachers in school used to say keep the window open and let the air force come in so it is yeah. one of those baje kotha bolchi but uh, no back but, but you know and and i sort of um, back to this whole incident that you talked about which you saw uh, near your home and uh, you, you know for the students in jadavpur um i guess the question i would have is uh, you know it seems that if there is a story that resonates with you i mean you might see a lot of things around you the story must mean something to you personally whichever way it you know it sort of hurts a sentiment resonates with your sentiment so that you know the phrase which uh, i was just telling people before you joined in uh, you know tony that uh, the word you used onuronon it's one of the most beautiful words i learned in bengali thanks to your film i didn't know about this and i know what people from kolkata will always say that you know the probashi bangalis don't really uh, know all these little nuances are nana over i i'll tell you a story me and my colleague neha amra jokhon film release hoto we used to visit all the halls and mm-hmm. we used to stand beside the ticket i mean jekhan theke ticket booking there in the book book near the booking counter and we used to see how many people are entering the entering the hall and onuron was a hit and i used to see people acha eta onu a onu and we used to correct him or her onu ronon onu ronon acha etar mane ki resonance conversation that it's not just me being ignorant about the language but it's also calcutta no, and they completely shame akra ha calcutta because uh, it's just such a beautiful thing um, a word the nuances that you know even when um one particular string of the instrument is playing another string resonates so the resonance is that's the only right that's that, that, life that, that's how i been that's life okay that's life so how does something how, how does in life is life so how does onuronon happen in life how does that happen one kichu bolte hobe then okay it's 
it happened due to relation. See, there are a lot of. I'll, I'll, okay, I have to cut. I have to edit certain things. You understand? No? Sure. This is yes. FB of and everybody is watching this. Yeah, this is there are certain a things. In, yeah, yeah. I, I am editing. I am censoring a little bit. Okay. There yes. Are certain things in life, you know, Ovijit, which happens unknowingly and which doesn't have a name. So in our world, there is a taboo: husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, brother and sister. But is there a relationship between a man and a woman? Suppose a married man is going out with a married woman, so people will think that there is some kind of, you know, sex is around. There can't be beyond that. But life is beyond that also. So sure. Omar Anun is all about, all about, all about a relationship which doesn't have a name. Why do you have to give a name to all kinds of relationship? Yeah, yeah, I, so I think it, the, that was the I, point. And I and I used to have and still I have relationships which doesn't have any kind of tags, any kind of identification, any kind of norm. You know, this is this, this is that. That. So there are a lot of things which is unknown, which we can define, undefined. You know, so uno no one happened due to that. I mean, it, it still remains, uh, you know, it's your first film, and I don't know what is your view on it, but um, if I see Anuranan and then Pink, these two remain my favorite. Of course, I've also loved Antohin for equally the same reason. Um, what I have liked is that, uh, you know, the, the stories that you shared, uh, a lot of stories are talk, talk, talked about, which are, you know, in, the, um, in what is defined. But I think most beautiful stories are also told when uh, you talk about things which are not defined, you know. So you mentioned um, that uh, there is this relationship which is not defined. So that really sort of drives it. Um, I have a question that uh, do these kind of um, stories in your head when you think of a story. So let's imagine you see something and, you know, there could be something, let us say, now the, all the conversations that we have are around um, the coronavirus, and 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 so obviously it must be doing something to you. Yeah. And uh, uh, even within this, I mean, there are so many possibilities. <coughs> if you think about stories, um, and you talked about the fact that the story must mean something to you, because that that's also another beautiful part of the whole process. Yeah. Because that resonance between what's happening outside and what's happening inside uh, is actually something that forms the story, actually. I, I've often wondered that do you get a fully formed story in your head, which means, you know, page one to page 200 or page 400, whatever it is. Is that a completely formed story or do you sort of build it, you talk to people, because that's how I build we, my we, we, we We snowball it. I'll tell you something. We'll snowball it, and also we go get these ingredients. Like you are cooking something, you get some spices, then you get something from somewhere, and you add that, and you create a story. But the basic structure is in your mind. You wanted a, you wanted to tell a one liner. If in one liner you want wanted to tell a story between mother and the father, that's the thing. But all the ingredients you get it from your life. I'll tell you something. In as far as Onurano is concerned, you remember that uh, Chitti Bora sequence, Rahul and Rituponna, they were reading a letter Rahul, Rahul, when they came back from, uh, yeah, from yeah, London. Yeah. yeah, from London to Kolkata. You know, so uh, I used to live outside, outside my home most of the time, you know. So my cousin, she, uh, he used to work and he used to get a lot of uh, scotch from because he used to travel and he used to get his, his, uh, his bar was stocked with good scotch and he had I, and he, he had lovely perfumes you know so i used to stay with him because for the perfume so that i can go out and to have the scotch one night it was around 3 a.m i still remember he opened opened his drawer and told me that uh, Tony, i have found something mashi has written me you know uh, maybe 25 years back mashi is my mother oh your mother had written my okay. mother my written he, he was my cousin he was my Mashi's, my, my uh, aunt's uh, son. So I read the letter. Okay. And I started, you know, I, I almost cried. It was so beautifully done. It was so poignant. And it was so personal. You know, it, 
if I, I still remember the words and my cousin's name was Bobby. You know, he, he told, uh, she wrote, Bobby, I am sending the clouds to you from Darjeeling. Uh, I am missing you. And I am send, sending all my thoughts to you through these clouds. Eta bishtir moto jhore porbe, tui phuler gache jol dite bhulish na, ar kotha gulo shuno, shunish. Ame ki bolchi, abar mehet diye, abar you tell your clouds so that they can come and whisper it to me. Oh my God. It was written much beautifully. It, it was written much beautifully than I explained. And I, I, I had to use that in, in that, uh, in my first film. Oh so my God. A lot of important things which I used. And it was such a, such a pure, such a beautiful moment in my life. I even cherish uh, throughout, I mean, till I die, you know. And your, mo your mother, of that small I remember that, I remember that uh, uh, you know, incident in uh, um, Antohin, you know, when Rahul Bose and Rituparna, they're sort of talking and this letter is read out. No. That's actually written by your mother? Oh, no, no, yeah. Ooh. Wow. That's in inspired by my mother. Inspired. So what I wanted to do, a lot of, you get inspiration from a lot of incidents, you know. Inspiration is the word. And you take those and put it in your films or in your writing or in your class, in your daily life. I know a lot of CEOs, they take inspiration from the world and they talk. It's out of management books, you know. It's not always it's, it's it's not always mathematics and grammar. You go out of that and you tell people, and and that's how the wisdom flows. Okay, so uh, I have um, I have uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, people has requested me that uh, uh, you know can you actually do a demo of uh, a story snowball? You know that's that's something. Huh. So. Uh, Tony, now, let's now do you, are, you are putting me in trouble, Ovijit. No, no, I am not putting you in trouble. It is, it is, uh, um, <laughs> you know, somebody has put that request. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to sort of. Uh, so let's let's talk about the coronavirus. I mean, uh, let's, huh? Doable? Let's have fun. Let's have. Fun. All right. So yeah. I'm going to start with the story that. Uh, <clears throat> the the uh, you know lockdown is lifted and there are four people who are traveling uh, to us via london and uh, um, you know the flight tickets are expensive and they, they you know for all the restrictions uh, there's just six people in the flight you know so it's almost an empty flight these uh, four people who are from the same office and then there is a couple okay <coughs> Ball is in your court now. So then what happens? What is it, what is your, just come back with your last line? Uh, the, uh, that the, these four people, uh, you know, a group of colleagues uh, who are going to US and they are going via London. And, 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 and um, you know, and, sorry. Uh, and, and then there is uh, this uh, couple who are, uh, you know, going to um, London, they stay there. They meet on the flight, and then what happens? Okay, this couple, uh, one of them is a professor in, in Cambridge. Another one, uh, maybe the uh, lady is a professor in professor of English in Cambridge, and the man okay. is a business person. Okay. Okay. So these guys were supposed to take the evening flight, the connecting flight, but everything due to the virus, everything is stopped. Everything is locked and they didn't have any place to stay. And since they traveled, the, the, the hotels are not allowing them to stay. So this four of these guys were invited by this couple to go to their place, to go to Cambridge and stay with them because they had a quite a big bungalow, you know. Then, okay. Oh, my turn, is it? <laughs> okay. No, no, no. no. So we are, we are snowballing, right? So let's, let's. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, these people, um, they go and stay with this, uh, you know, these four guys, they go and stay uh, with this couple uh, purely because, you know, if they stay in a hotel, they'll get quarantined and all that stuff. So they decide to go and stay there and they really, you know, get along. And then uh, as, as part of that conversation that evening over dinner, they discover that this uh, old couple, the lady and the gentleman who were there, 
uh, they had actually gone to India uh, to tell the children that, um, or tell the family that they were now getting um, separated. They were going to get divorced. And, uh, um, and that late night, um, you know, this uh, gentleman in that couple whose house these guys are staying in, he develops a complication and they discover that, uh, you know, he's been impacted by the COVID virus. Corona. Okay. All right. Now it's your turn. <laughs> then what happens? All right. Uh we are always uh, we are telling that this man and woman they are old actually they are not old they are 50 years old but they are looking old all because right because there is a something is happening between the man and wife and they are unhappy and they are okay. looking little you know little old and little dejected yes so out of this four people three of them they went away how can okay. they stay here and the other guy he stayed back and he wanted to show life to them. Suddenly, he felt like their child responsible to bring hope, life, color, rainbow, sunlight, little bit of rain in their life. And he stayed back with them. Oh, beautiful. OK. OK. And this 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 man and woman, this man, it, it can be a short story. This man, this and, the, and the, maybe this guy is a student. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's let's try to add a little bit of layers. Maybe this guy oh. is a student, okay. and this Better. man is a big business person, and this woman she's is a fellow in Oxford. Okay, you know, so what yeah. happens? This young kid, he brought back sunshine in their lives, and they decided not to get divorced. Suddenly, they bring back the life comes back to them due to this boy. So there is an accident. And for that accident, unknowingly something good happens, and they. This is resonance. This is resonance. You know, the young honor kid honor. who is not who doesn't have honor. Honor. Jar auto ta buddhi nahi, bacha chale. But over hmm. life age jono, his life is getting is getting resonated to this man and woman, and suddenly they discovered life is so vulnerable, life is so delicate, mm -hmm. life is so uh, you know fragile. What the hell are we doing? And they started, and, and, and our author uh, doesn't call them old anymore. Hmm. Two young hmm. men and women started living again together forever. And the story ends. Oh, you know, I, I, I was just thinking, okay. I, it could be a beautiful, um, uh, you know, one of those short films that you've done. Uh, two of your films, which I've uh, seen on YouTube, I have loved both of them. Uh, one is uh, Maya and the other one is Devi, though I think I am a little more fond of Devi uh, than uh, Maya, but both are lovely stories. I have enjoyed seeing them. So in case, uh, um, you know, you have uh, people who are listening and if you haven't seen that, beautiful stories, uh, you know, Tony at his best. I, is it hard to um, tell a story in, in like, you know, two and a half hours or two hours and then switch to 15 minutes, which is tougher? Is it short story is tougher see, than? Uh, see, see, it's a, it's everything is same. I told story in ten seconds also because for my art film uh, background. But uh, before we start any conversation, you know, Abhijit, uh, hmm. let's you, you please write this story. We can write this story and we can make a short film. Maybe we'll not go to London. It can be a Bombay Calcutta scenario. And yeah, it can be a, very, a film which inspires uh, a man, woman, and a kid. Okay. You know, All we right. Can, we can. We can. We can do an interview. Let's. Let's do. Okay. Because a lot of people are asking me to make a short film. You know, make a film on COVID. So let's make something hopeful. Uh, now, then a little bit. You know, kuch nahi hoga. Dull. Because I find I I have a lot of hope in life and a lot of good things are going to happen. So we let's make this story. One good thing has happened after 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 this discussion that Obiji is is going to paint something for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to. I'm. I'm doing a little doodle, which of course I'll do a proper version later. But I'm just scribbling a few, uh, the things, and I'm going to. So I'm just yeah. uh, sort of do that. Yeah, I, I, we have. We have got a. We, we have got a structure. We have got a structure. So you think the story has uh, potential? I'm coming, uh, 
it, Tony, so always, it, I, 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 all, I always, I always think there is potential, but I don't know whether this will work or not. We uh, see there is only one life, Obijit. We have to keep on experimenting with life. It might sometimes it will work, sometimes it will fail, and this both the things the same. It's like actor coiner epitopic. It's head and tail. If you take sure. head, tail will be with you. If you take tail, head will be with you. So I don't. That is. I mean, let's let's make this. We'll we'll do this. I'm very I'm, confident about this. Suddenly, I, sure. I, you know, once we uh, sort and, of finish, I, I'll and talk about this. And if we come back, if we come back to your last question, which you asked me, that hmm. uh, uh, about the duration of a film. See, I think a, 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 it's very difficult to tell a story in a very limited time. If you get two hours, you get a lot of layers. You can do a lot of stuff. But when it's I mean, uh, a 15 minute film or a 10 minute film or a 10 second ad or a 20 second ad. There are so many brilliant stuff happens in 20 second, 30 second. I grew up with, I mean, advertising is so great because I learned everything through advertising, you know, the discipline, the, the power uh, for economy of words and films. There is less, but it has to be more. Yeah. You will get little stuff, but you have to tell a bigger story. Huh. So it's, it's, it's more difficult to. Uh, do a job in a small film in a small duration than a longer version. You know, I feel that. But both this uh, medium have their own disciplines. And and uh, you know, I also think that um, at least as far as uh, uh, you know, when I wrote fiction, and we were talking about this when we were at uh, Shantanu's place the other day, where I first met. And by the way, for the benefit of uh, uh, everybody. You know, I met uh, Tony very, uh, it was just one of those uh, strange uh, coincidences, right? I was uh, visiting my friend Shantanu Moitra. I was staying with him and uh, Tony was also there. And, uh, you know, so I had never uh, sort of seen or I had never met Tony. Uh, of course, I had seen all his films and all that. And then I get to see the, that and so we get chatting and then I suddenly well, that I've known this guy for a long time, you know. He's he's just this fun guy, and you know, with millions of stories. And um, so I, you know, we spoke, and and then at the end of all of that, you know, we've just stayed in touch, and it's been absolutely phenomenal. And uh, you can see from this conversation, Tony is a guy who can keep you engrossed in stories right through. So if I stay at uh, Tony's place, that conversation will start in the evening and end up in the wee hours of the morning. And not for a moment will you ever feel bored. That's, that is the magic of the storyteller. So incredible uh, stories. Uh, what an incredible life. I sometimes think that, you know, uh, Tony, you've, you've had a really interesting life. Uh, you met such interesting people. I mean, people... Uh, you know, one of the regrets in my life is I never actually got to meet uh, somebody who was a hero of mine, which is uh, Sudhir Ganguly. You know, I've grown up admiring his storytelling craft, and you know, so so I I must also tell you that I feel very jealous of you. That you know, you you've had the chance to meet these people I have idolized. So uh, it is not fair, you know, because. Uh, why should all the good things happen only with you, Tony? Uh, I also think that you you grown up in Calcutta. When you make a Hindi film, is it a challenge when you don't understand the language as well as you know? Suppose you had made a film which was in uh, Bengali. Obviously, you know the language, you know the nuances, uh, and you can talk about all those shades. Of the language, is it harder? I mean, yeah, and and <laughs> here the first time, I don't, uh, Shantanu was making fun of your Hindi. Answer. So huh. now, before, so I'm, before I'm, answering this, I will tell you, I'll tell you a story. So since this this program is called storytelling, so I will tell you a story uh, before answering this. You know, uh, I had an experience with uh, Vilayat Khan Sahib once. So the his sitar. nephews. The sitar player, the one of the greatest sitar. He was God to me. He was God. So my nephews, uh, his nephews were very close friends of mine. You know, we grew up together. 
So almost every day we used to stay together. We used to hang out. They used to play. I used to listen. And for a very brief period of uh, period of time, I wanted to learn Sarod. <coughs> so once he called, Ustadji called us. So he told us, Ishad, tum kya baja rahe ho? Ishad plays something. Bahut achha. Bajayat kya baja rahe ho? Bajayat plays something. Tu beta kya kya baja rahe? Nahi nahi. Bolo, main abhi bhihak sing raho. Baja. So I tried to play something, and it was horrible. Then oh, uh, uh, Ustadji ne bola, like God is talking to you. You know, we were sitting here, and he was sitting on a divan, and, and his voice. Like I was a man, and I was in love with him because for his voice and for his mizaz and for his, you know. The way he used to talk, the way he used to play. So he told me, "Beta, idara." Like him. So he told me, uh, "Bihag bazaar." You are playing bihag, no? Tera koi girlfriend hai, koi uh, ashiki hai. Asa kuch bola. So many. I got totally, you know, taken aback. How can I talk this kind of stuff with uh, Usaji? So he said, "Kisi se ishkar, kisi se kuske," and he 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 did his hand like this. Kisi ke kisi se kuske ishkar, uske baad bichar jayega. और दिल में जो पैदा होगा वही है बिहाग ओ हाउ ब्यूटीफुल पॉइंट सो यू हैव टू फील इट हां सो बेसिकली व्हेन यू मेक अ फिल्म इन एनी यू हैव टू नो द लैंग्वेज ऑफ फिल्म यू कैन यू वांट टू टेल अ स्टोरी आई वुड आई एम डाइंग टू मेक अ फिल्म इन मलयालम आई आई एम लविंग मलयालम फिल्म आई टोल्ड माय फ्रेंड हु इज अ प्रोड्यूसर देयर लेट्स लेट्स डू अ फिल्म इमीडिएटली वो करेगा और हम चल करते बिकॉज़ लैंग्वेज इज इंपॉर्टेंट you have people but the basic important thing is the sensibility and the anubhuti what is the english of anubhuti how can i explain uh, uh, what you sort of the the uh, what do you feel yeah what do you yes yeah. yeah what do you feel the feeling has to come out properly that is the most important thing so language is not a problem i saw a mind blowing a wonderful bengali film by a german filmmaker टॉरी Let's not be afraid and let's tell a story. So, pink. It was in Hindi, and I was little lucky because Shuji, Tarani, everybody were there. The team was so great; they hold my hands, and the film happened. And everybody, every each and every person in that film believed in the story, in the in the topic, and they feel they they were so much responsible. Sir was so responsible. Mr. Bachchan was so responsible. He loved the idea and the way they nurtured. It was, it was a film uh, done democratically. You know, everybody were part of the filmmaking process. Everybody loved it and everybody made a baby together. You know, so a thing happened. But language is very important. But you, but you can make a film even if you don't know the language. Yeah, I, actually, I was also very impressed with the uh, with the last uh, poem which uh, Bachchan Sahab recites. To khud ki khoj mein nikal, to kis mein udas hai? To chal tere wajood ki samay ko dhar. Beautiful, so so beautiful. All all the stanzas uh, is the young poet. I'm missing his name. Ga- Gazi. Uh, uh, who who is the Tanvir? Tanvir. very very beautiful lines uh, yeah it is just uh, uh really incredible so yeah. um Vo- voice is cracking uh, i am i'm uh, uh, really all the signs are now visible in the voice i think that's where it is. so uh i i want to uh, you know talk a little bit about you know how do you see the concept of storytelling evolving Uh, you know as the medium evolves so you sort of see uh, there is a tiktok now there's a youtube there's a you know so the, you you have youtube film festivals and you have of course the theater now the theaters are uh, you know people aren't able to go and watch movies 
and there's a whole lot which is happening there in that world um so does the medium where you tell the story does that you know change and the reason why i'm saying that is that uh, changing and, and the question in my head is that uh, very often when i watch a uh, when i when i read a book you know and a book especially when it has been made into a film uh, more often than not i find myself feeling disappointed because uh, the story in my head the visual in my head doesn't quite match the way the visual has happened on screen um why is that i mean is it that the story that i visualized is so one shouldn't i mean i always tell myself i think i shouldn't watch a film uh, especially if i have enjoyed the uh, novel uh, yeah. book yeah see the, the thing is it varies see it is something like uh, suppose uh, rag desh okay rag desh uh, avijit i can't see i can't see you yeah go ahead uh, Uh, if I I I I I become so normal if I can't see you. <laughs> I just no, write I, to Raj I, Day. I just <laughs> doodle. So that's why. Right. Uh, so I don't want you to feel this. Oh, well, you're doodling. I, uh, yes, okay. yes, yes. I've just tried so, to do it. So basically, Raj Day. So yeah. You will uh, play the flute in Raj Day in a way. I will play the sitar in a different way. So it's the it's the the expression changes from person to person. You know, the, it right. varies. right so when you read a book you start imagining certain things so your imagination can go anywhere there is no yeah. boundary right right so sometimes sometimes it might not match your whatever you have seen through that uh, through that literature you know because these are both both two different mediums but i have seen i i, I know there are so many books which has been translated into films and i i prefer the film better than the books so it's it's a very subjective thing it's a, it's a it's a perspective you know i don't know i i think it my my feeling is that if you are extremely opinionated about the visualization in your head you don't tend to enjoy it as much uh, you know so that's uh, right it has because, it has to be organic you know it, it has to be yeah, organic it, Uh, from a, just let it flow. I mean, from a from a creator's point of view, when we make a film, you know, we design a lot of things, but a lot of things also happen. I'll I'll tell you one thing. Uh, let me find an analogy. During Antonin, you know, we had uh, all those rain machines and stuff, and it was twelve o'clock, twelve thirty in the night. The machine uh-huh. failed, and we wanted a little bit of rain outside the window. Right. The machine failed, and and we couldn't do that scene. And Rahul was uh, uh, going to Bombay, flying Bombay the next day morning, and we had to complete that scene that day only. So me and Ovi, we decided what to do. They, I saw a piece of glass, so we spray okay. some water, and we took a shot from the from the glass. And as if water is flowing from the glass, and she is, and it became a. And everybody was talking about that scene, but it happened accidentally and organically. and it happened due to some constraint you know that also works so it's how good it was a friend of mine who is a ca- a friend of mine who is a cameraman he he always uh, tells me that a film banta hai banta hai banana nahi sakta hai a film happens you can't make it happen yeah i think i think uh, you know there is a element of um, uh, planning which happens in the beginning you have a faint idea of a story but you are right i mean a uh, a book a film a song um and and i sort of seen this uh, in my life as well that it just evolves it takes there comes a point of time when the story is not so much in your control it just emerges by itself the story has to be told in a certain way you feel the same yeah, do you you know i it's just a question that you made different kinds of films a lot of it has been about you know different kinds of shades of relationships yeah does it impact you personally when you are with a film a particular story um does it impact you or are you you know very detached and you are sort of focusing on the craft of no, no. story 
telling are you inside no, the no, it it creates a uh, i am always inside the thing it it definitely impacts it definitely create a some kind of repetition in your mind and emotionally you get drained and you become you know it that's why uh, uh, so many relationship happens uh, between film stars or between directors and stars and you know you become very very attached to that story and the character be it a man or a woman so do you get attached to the and, person or the character well, you know so when when somebody uh, uh, you know to, to the character to the character and there is a bridge and we walk towards the person also or to the person and the uh, and you cross the bridge and go towards the character also so both are two it's, same it's a, things. yeah true but i also think See, that one one is is it, 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 it's a mirror image you know you are liking the person and the reflection in the mirror also so and when you, you cast stuck to that somebody, for that when you cast uh, when you cast somebody in a role yeah um i mean do, do you do you, are you stuck that this particular role can only be done by this person or is it that uh, you adapt the role to so is it is the role to make to fit that actor or does the actor have to largely fit that role so you kind of see the there are two ways you can there are two ways you can work you know um all my bengali films are also pink i saw somebody and this is the character hmm this is the character he or she has to do this role otherwise it will be a very difficult thing for me eta to hoy this is this happens you become absolutely uh, what should i say you you are so convinced with somebody and and you start seeing you it's an image it's a it's a world you create no and the world if you it, you have to hold somebody's hand to create that world and you start imagining her or him in this world and if he or she is not there it's a physical discomfort um uh, you know um just one last piece that i want to sort of uh, talk about because i also realized that we are slightly over time i'm going right. to take the indulgence of one last question which i must ask you you know yeah your your films have an incredible um, collection of music i have always loved all the songs in your films uh, you know uh, of course a lot of great go shantanu moitra and so look at that but one of the questions again is uh, you know in a film when you think of a when you think of music is it that the music amplifies the word which is being spoken which means the the music is about what is being said and it amplifies it or it creates an interpretation of what is happening or is it in your case would you say that it fills in the white space so like you know i always think that when you when you get to know people uh, you are begin to understand uh, their words yeah when that relationship becomes very deep it is then that you begin to understand the silences you know the white space between the words where is music for you is it in this word is it in the um yeah. space between music, the words music is i can't live without music you know uh more than anything else i imagine music because i love this medium so much i can't sing i can't play i only envy one kind of people who can play good instruments or who can sing or who can cook well otherwise i don't envy anybody you know i don't have any insecurity about anybody and two ways i see music in life or films one as a punctuation like how do i explain punctuation i am very happy and i hmm. play uh the rock uh, jay jayanti by vimshan joshi hmm. and i i start doing this the other day i hurt my hand because i was playing that rag under the shower and i i have a rotatory cup tear and i again hate <laughs> lagega lo you know so that is a punctuation your thoughts it's punctuated by this music and flowing somewhere else sometimes hmm. it highlights also sometimes it highlights that 
I am trying to feel sad, but I'm not that sad. Okay, let's play something or listen a uh, Kishore Kumar's song. You know, and it, see, we are thinkers. You know, thinkers means we don't have anything. Only thing we can do, we can think, we can uh, uh, scribble certain things, we can think of a story and we want to make a film. That's the only hope we have. It's not a hope to make money or anything. It's the only hope is to make a film. For that, you have to construct a story. To construct a story, you have to construct an emotion. To construct an emotion, you have to have some dotted lines. You know, chota lines chahiye. So, though always, this is a uh, unknowingly we do. The, I mean, I do this practice always. So, uh, music. But uh, we grew up with uh, lip sync, Obijit. We grew up with lip sync. You know, in all of our Hindi films. Um, uh, when a star used to sing a song, it was so beautiful, it was so great. We were mesmerized, and the songs used to become so hit, and it was it it, is, it used to become part of our family, you know, part of our livelihood. So songs are very important, but nowadays we use as a punctuation or as a mood to highlight the mood of the scene. I'm getting a lot of comments, huh? lovely. All our friends are writing so beautiful words. Another hope in during this difficult time. Yes, all, yes, all, yes. See, another thing, uh, OVJ, all we need is a pat on our shoulder, more than anything else. The enthusiasm, you know, our energy becomes much, much, much more uh, higher and powerful. So Completely. I am getting so much of energy from, from our friends. Yeah, I, I, and you know, I, I think that um, when um, I was talking to one of my clients about, you know, how do you make this workplace uh, more innovative? You know, how do we bring more creativity and innovation into the team? And one of the things I was saying is, uh, if you sort of really look at the performing arts, what motivates a person to be more creative? It is not the money, ticket sales or something like that. It's really not. People sort of, you know, when somebody does the that, Somebody just says, oh my God, Tony, there was such a beautiful moment in that film. He's not even appreciating that full film. He appreciates that little shot or that little line and it stays with you, you know. And for me today, for example, the one thing that I will always uh, remember this particular conversation with is that word onurana. You know, I just really understood uh, what you mean by that. And, and you know, it, it's just incredible. Um, so I think if only organizations encouraged people, appreciated people, you will see a lot more creativity, you know. Um, and so it is on that particular note, uh, I think, I, you know, if we don't now stop, um, Tony, I think the people are now going to just completely hammer us and they will never listen to us again. But on behalf of this entire set of people, um, I just want to say that I so enjoyed our conversation because of uh, the candidness with which you spoke, Tony. It's really a gift. It's a privilege to have had this conversation. It's I'm going to you. try it's and. Due to uh, you, Vijit. You gave you gave me the scope. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you, you, you allowed, and I did. No, no, absolutely. It, no. Was, it was really great talking to you. So I am not a very organized person. I'm not a very articulate person, but it's you who has made me, uh, you know, we, we just jammed. Ah, the... okay. But remember, guys, you are witness to the fact that Tony has promised to make that film. If I win the Oscar, you know where yes, it yes. all started. I will. And Tony, that Oscar, Inshallah, I will. we will go together to go and get that. Thank you so very much for, uh, you know, your generosity, your time and your ideas. And keep making films. These stories are going to stay and inspire people for generations. So don't stop making films, Tony. You are such an amazing storyteller. Thank you so much for enriching our lives. And thank all of you, you know, for... Uh, thank you for having me here. All the comments, I have, I'm sorry, I'm just really clumsy at this uh, particular thing of really so being able to... Some, uh, somebody, somebody, Mili Paul wrote, somebody, you have to be observant. You know, it's absolutely right. We have to see things. We have to listen. Uh, we have to take it in. 
we have to observe we have to absorb you know so that's the only work we have to do just absorb open your doors and windows open your all sen uh, all senses and take it in just take it in absolutely absolutely gosh thank you so very much i'm going to try and see if i can uh, figure out a way to um, you know uh, if if i can record this i've never used the software before but i loved it somebody I... somebody has written a poem over it oh somebody sure. has written a poem Read on, it out. on the story we created you know okay uh, uh, it's nina care nina claire you know, okay story inspired me to uh, Okay, cornered by Corona, their magnificence became apparent from lackluster to lucid. Their reflections spoke back to them, stories they had buried under the sands of time now unearthed, resurrected, refined, resplendent, resonating today's reality. Thank you so much, Nina. That's lovely. Uh, for all the comments, uh, Pilu, thank this you. Is, this is all good. Yes, all the guests, Kavita, uh, Sujaita, thank you so very much. Um, I appreciate Adhir, uh, Sharada, uh, thanks a lot, Arvind, uh, Preeti, Shovik, Isha, Mili, uh, all of you, Fimra, Hussain, uh, thank you so very much and appreciate. And I'm going to try and see if I can post the story somewhere. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Take care. Thank you. Bye. You too. Bye.